Hi, I'm Robert Alexander from iChem Labs, and this is the Templates Widget Tutorial for ChemDoodle version 5. The Templates widget allows you to easily organize and utilize your templates. At the top of the template widget is the main structure panel. The main structure panel displays the currently selected template. In the top left corner, a blue circle with the words substitution point indicates that whatever atom the blue circle appears on is the substitution point. The substitution point indicates the atom that will be overlapped with the atom the template is connected to. This means that you must click on the substitution point you desire and then click on the atom within the doodle area that you want it to overlap with. It is important to ensure you select both atoms correctly for your substitution point. Incorrectly chosen substitution points, either in the widget or on the doodle board, may result in incomplete transfer of the template to the doodle board. It is easy to avoid these situations, as you can take advantage of the Shift and Alt modifier keys to toggle the size and angle of the template, just like with bonds and rings. This will allow you as much flexibility as you need to place your chosen template the way you want. When placing a template on a crowded doodle board, it is possible that an atom in the template that is not the substitution point atom will overlap with another atom on the doodle board. If this is done, then a red circle will appear, which means that those atoms will merge if the template is placed here. Below the main structure panel, is a drop-down tool for selecting what template group you want. After selecting the group you want, the list below will be populated with templates from that group. This list is the scrollable list at the bottom of the widget. You can scroll through it to select the template you want out of the current template group. If you want to add a new template to the template widget, select the fragment you want to add as a template. Right-click and choose Add Fragment as Template. Give the template a name. You will also have to create a new group for any templates you wish to create, as they cannot be added to default template groups. Click Done when you are finished. You will then be able to find your new template in your newly created template group in the drop-down tool. 